It's Wednesday the 11th, I'm FX Plue and this is CurrencyTransfer.com's market update. The main headlines today are that sterling gains moving towards major resistance levels. Uh, the euro rallied yesterday as ECB council member broke ranks and the dollar index drops as tensions around Syria rise. Cable has rallied about 1.5% over the past couple of days in the face of dollar weakness from increased geopolitical risk. Yesterday it touched a high of 141.90 and remained around that level overnight. Sterling Euro touched 115.05 before falling back slightly as the Euro started to rally. On the calendar today we've got UK manufacturing production, that's probably the most likely to have an effect. We'll keep you posted as the data comes out. Yesterday the Euro had a bit of a roller coaster. Things went up when uh, Ewald uh, Nowotny, he's the Aust Austrian central bank governor and probably the most hawkish member of the ECB governing council, um, he popped up and said that he thought the ECB would remove asset purchase scheme this year. Naturally that will open the way for a uh, future rate hike. Things then went down as the ECB popped out with a spokesman who quickly pointed out that Mr Nowotny's views were his own and didn't reflect the opinions of the wider council. Euro dollar touched 123.78 before falling back to close at 123.55. Draghi is scheduled to talk today. I don't think he'll even refer to Mr Nowotny's comments yesterday, but do feel free to place your bets on that in the comments below. Uh, and the US dollar falls, right? Russian foreign policy is currently confounding markets. The policy seems to be deny, 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 and then when faced with overwhelming evidence, deny some more. Um, the Syrian chemical um, attack is, is the latest example of this, and obviously there was the poisoning of the, uh, the spy in the UK just before that. Um, it's a mystery. The trade war concerns seem to have alleviated, but the increased risks of US-Russian relationships um, have further negative effect on the, uh, on the general market sentiment. Yesterday, the dollar index fell. It fell close to the short-term support at 89.62. Um, but domestically, the US economy is doing all right. It continues to do pretty well. And even with the Fed looking for excuses and opportunities to change the current policy of, you know, expected three rates, uh, rate hikes in 2018 to maybe four, um, you know, the wider global issues are continuing to dog the greenback and the safe haven play continues to be the mainstay of the market. Anything of relevance today, we'll keep you posted. You'll be the first to know. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below.